Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here with your flying weather outlook for the weekend and week ahead, brought to you exclusively by Flyer in association with weatherschool.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. And um, quite a mixed weekend ahead. Saturday looks best for flying. We've got some heavy showers around during the course of Sunday, and then we get into early next week with some decent flying conditions to be found. Now, uh, this high is a bit of a messy one. It's something that we discuss at Aviation Weather School, and if you've not been yet, then now is your chance, because on Saturday the 3rd of June, I'm going to be holding my classroom-based Aviation Weather School Part 1 here at Weather School HQ. There are two places remaining. They do fill up pretty quickly. So if you want to come along, go to weatherschool.co.uk now, this is what you'll see. Go to Aviation, click on Aviation Weather School Part 1 Classroom, and then that will take you through to the page explaining all about the course, what we cover, and you can get more information. Incidentally, if you want to know more uh, as well, just click on uh, John Hunt's Flying Reporter uh, video about Weather School here. It fills you in uh, about a lot of what we do. And then to book your place, just come up the top here, click on Book Securely by card or PayPal, and one of those places can be yours. It'll be super to see you. I'll build your weather confidence. I'll get you spotting weather windows five days in advance, and I'll get you flying more and more safely, and you'll just get way more enjoyment from your flying. Um, those of you who came over the last couple of evening sessions, I hope you enjoyed it. We had a great time, didn't we? So thank you for that. So it'd be super to see you at uh, Aviation Weather School on the 3rd of June. OK, this is how things shape up then on Thursday. Things um, destabilising from the west. Rain across much of Scotland, across much of Ireland, getting into southwestern parts of England, eventually into the west of Wales. Pretty cloudy for central and southern parts of England, but um, generally fair across the east, although cloud will increase. And what we'll tend to find is this rain spilling its way eastwards during the course of Thursday night and into Friday morning. Although by Friday morning, it should be clearing away from eastern coast pretty quickly. And then on Friday, it's actually a fairly breezy day. It's generally VFRable for most, 3,000 foot bases, 10,000 foot tops. Could be up at 12,000 feet initially across East Anglia. Showers coming through Ireland, making for marginal conditions here at times, but flyable in between. And one or two QNMs, bases about 3,000 feet, tops at 15,000 feet. Some spots of rain affecting northern Scotland, bases here 3,000 feet, tops at about 12,000 feet as well. Quite a brisk westerly wind. It'll feel more like sort of early March than late April. On to Saturday, and um, I think generally we're, we're flyable just about everywhere. There'll be some showers developing across parts of Wales, across parts of northern England, eastern parts of Ireland, that sort of area, making for marginal conditions at times. Bases down to 2,000 feet in those 15,000 foot tops. More cloud as well, probably across eastern Scotland, making it marginal here at times. Quite a messy situation though, but generally for many of us, it isn't looking bad at all. However, for Sunday, outbreaks of rain moving in during the course of Sunday, showery outbreaks of rain across much of Ireland, across Wales, central southern parts and western parts of England. Here, marginal to non-VFR because of those. It's probably worthwhile nipping down the airfield if you kind of don't mind sitting it out or if you think there's a chance of just sneaking a quick flight in. But I think this stuff is going to sit on hills as well. So we've got some mist to contend with. Probably bases 1,000 to 3,000 feet. Tops about 10,000 feet. Further east, it's flyable, but I'm going to say marginal at times if we do get any showers. 2,000 foot bases, 10,000 foot tops. So you see what I mean about Saturday being the better day. Now, on Monday, we've got a weak front that kind of just affects eastern coast of the country through the course of Monday. Some showers down those eastern coasts, marginal conditions, typical east coast weather, 2,000 foot bases, 10,000 foot tops, reduced visibility. But in other areas, once morning mist and fog goes, it should be a fairly pleasant day. 4,000 foot bases, 9,000 foot tops, light winds and decent weather overall. Tuesday looks pretty good. High pressure is in control. Fair amount of cloud, particularly across western areas. Bits of drizzle potentially for western parts of Scotland. Marginal here, but for most other areas, it should be generally fair. Bases three to 4,000 feet, tops about six to 8,000 feet. And then for Wednesday, that high pressure is still with us. Could be one or two showers across eastern Scotland. It's such a messy little high, this one really is. Marginal at times in those showers with 2,000 foot bases, 
15,000 foot tops. A little bit of drizzle, potentially Western Scotland, Western Ireland, but other areas generally fair. Just need to watch the amount of cloud that may drift in off the sea to the east, but two to 3,000 foot bases. Tops probably, I think that's going to be too high, probably about 8,000 feet. So it's not bad flying overall, is it? There's some windows in there. Like I say, though, for the weekend, Saturday looks to be the pick of the days. OK, I will leave you with that for now. Don't forget to get your place booked at Aviation Weather School Part 1. If you've not been yet, then this is your chance uh, for the course to be presented in the classroom by yours truly. And uh, yeah, we, we always have a good time. It's always a good, good time. And your course fee includes your lunch and all course materials as well. Um, and it really is a, a, a good occasion and a good chance to mix with your fellow pilots as well. OK, I will leave you with that for now. Whatever you're doing, have a great and safe flying weekend. I'll give you an update with the flying team at 7.30 on Thursday night. But for now, whatever you're doing, thanks again for watching. Keep the sun shining and bye for now.